For this exercise, click on Open and browse to Chapter 16 and open Chapter 16 Schedules. From the Project Browser, scroll down and check that Level 1 HVAC plan is the active plan. It doesn't really matter about this plan right now, but we are going to come back in here and take a look at some of its properties. But in the meantime, I'd also like to tag the spaces as we will be referring to the spaces very shortly. So from your Annotate tab, click on Tag All. Scroll down in Tag All until you find Space Tags and click on Apply. Then click on OK. This has created a tag for each space in our plan. I'm now going to create a space schedule. And the space schedule is going to give me the ability to see not only the spaces, but do some calculations based on airflow. From the View tab, click on Schedules, click on Schedule Quantities, and scroll down in the category list until you find spaces. As you can see here, I can't find them. There's a filter on this list. We need to make sure that Mechanical is selected. Then we have Spaces. Click on OK. I now want to select some fields. So scroll down in the available fields until we find Level and click on Add. Click on Number. And I can double click to place the field in the right hand box. Click on Name. Calculated Supply Airflow. Actual Supply Airflow. And at this point, I'm also going to create a calculated value. We'll give this a name. Let's call this airflow delta. This is going to be a formula, the discipline of which is HVAC, and it relates to airflow. And the formula is going to be my actual supply airflow minus my calculated supply airflow and click on OK. Now if I click on OK, I create the schedule. And you can see that I now have a space schedule. And if I scroll down, you can see that we have all the spaces defined in our project. We have them by level, number, name, is the calculated and actual supply airflows, and the airflow delta. The whole purpose of having the airflow delta is a bit of a warning message to show us that the actual airflow supply is less than the calculated. But wouldn't it be great if this actually popped out at us? Well, we can do this. From the Properties palette, click on Formatting. Click on Airflow Delta, and we're now going to add a conditional statement where we're going to say Airflow Delta is less than or equal to zero liters a second. We can change the background color to red. Click on OK, OK, and finally OK. And that now gives us a list of spaces where we need to go and have a look at why our airflow is less than the calculated supply airflow. Scrolling down the list of spaces, I can see that some spaces may not actually need to be heated or cooled. And we can also see spaces that have way over their airflow requirements. If I right click on one of these rows, I can click on Show. And if the view is open, Revit will take me to that view. This makes it much easier to work with my design.